motherfucker talking. Shout out to all my, you know, all my supporters and my haters. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? My family, my team, staying down, staying safe where they at. <clears throat> you niggas was reporting me, so it kicked me off live or some bullshit. So listen. I've been hearing a lot of chat about 6 9 You know what I'm saying? Nigga home. And I think he cooking right now. 6 9 is going to show y'all what the industry is all about. Y'all going to learn something about this shit. Yo, somebody tag DJ K Slate. You know, all these dudes be running from me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I need somebody to tap in. Tap in. Watching this Godfather Harlem. Nigga Bumpy Johnson was a gangster. <clears throat> nigga told Michael Max, nigga, I slap the shit out of you, boy. Don't forget who the fuck I am. My type of dude. I think my shit freezing up. Yeah, we need to go up, my nigga. I need them numbers up. Punk ass, hey, honey, get that shit up. And whack for the go in. <clears throat> Straight up. I'm going to get reckless on this bitch. Tack that nigga CEO Wacko 142. You know what I'm saying? Tell that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Send that request in, nigga. Nigga, you on there with uh, that nigga that made that movie. I forgot the name of that movie. What's that movie? Uh, all. I think it was All Eyes on Some. The producer nigga. I know Benny Boone, the one really did the work. But it's the other nigga that they gave some credit with for. Uh, I forget the nigga name, but Wacko was on it with that nigga. He got to tap in with the folk. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. We're damn at a thousand. <clears throat> I need somebody gonna talk a little shit to me. Let me pick a fan though. Pick one of my fans. Nigga wanna holler at whack 100. Those real shit. Don't come over here with no weird, no, no weird shit. Nigga wanna holler at whack 100. Tap in, send a request. You got a question or two for me, I'm gonna answer. Let me see. You will get justice, but not right at this moment. Why are you not at Blueface House with the hoes? <clears throat> that is. Proud by Loaded Grade. He said, Why am I not at Blueface House with the hoes? Because them is Blueface hoes. I don't got hoes. I don't do hoes. Nephew doing what he doing. If it's some business to it, he'll wrap it up, send it to me, and I'll do the business. I don't I don't hang out with my artists. We get money. We have a little fun. But I don't, you know. Come on, my nigga. That nigga 22, 23, he don't need me all in the space like that. Who is? I need my glasses on. <clears throat> I don't want to put my glasses on because you niggas is screenshot. And then it'd be all kind of memes or whack 100 with the glasses. I'd be squinting because I can't really see up close. They shot people sitting on his stoop. Let's see who is going on. Nigga, you look like Bane or Batman. I don't watch Batman, my nigga, so I wouldn't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let me see. Nip had you scared. <clears throat> Whatever the fuck that be. All right. Let's see what I got to say about Teddy Riley and Babyface. I have nothing to say about Teddy Riley and Babyface. Teddy Riley and Babyface was getting money in this music shit. 
when I when I didn't know what the fuck music was. So whatever the fuck Teddy Riley and Babyface doing, <clears throat> that's because they doing what the fuck they want to do because they can do what the fuck they want to do. Bottom line of that. What's up, Wack? Check me out. What's poppin'? The President 52. Oh, shit. That's Bodine. What's up, nephew? How y'all say it? Scoop? Where you been, nigga? Chillin' good money. <clears throat> I've been selling N95 masks. A lot of them. I'm a hustler, my nigga. I'm gonna get to the bag. Like I see you all hot boxing with Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's that's that that's family. Okay. Conway the machine gun come at you. Whatever the fuck that means. Sami Blood 135. <clears throat> Shout out to my niggas from Westside Pyro Bompton. Like they say, J-Rock looking for you. I ain't never had a nigga look for me that can't find me. Believe that. Let's talk about it. Fuck the politics, bloody. I'm trying to make music. Boy, you got a blue face house. I got my own fucking house. Like, how you think 6 9 numbers gonna be when you drop a tape? 6 9 is gonna outstream <clears throat> and outsell 70% of the artists that's active right now. That's what I think. And that's it. That's just business. Of course, hard as hell. So listen. I want to talk to everybody about this quarantine shit. Don't focus on a lot of what's going on on the news and the, the, what the government talking about. Because whatever they talking about, whatever they going to do, is what the fuck they going to do. It's going to happen how the fuck they want it to happen. What you need to focus on is how you going to do something for your goddamn self and capitalize off of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So... Whatever they gonna do, they gonna do. Whatever they tell you to do, do. Wash your hands, wear your, your mask, your blood, whatever the fuck you gonna do. <clears throat> but focus on your play. You know what I'm saying? If you come out of this quarantine shit ahead of where you was at when we went into it, then it's a job well done. If you standing still, then you gonna be lost in the sauce. Real shit. How's coronavirus treating you? Bro, Blueface Craig be having to end his fights. Nipsey march you out. I've never had a, 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 a confrontation with Nipsey <clears throat> ever in life. I mean, matter of fact, I can probably count on one hand the times we was in each other's presence. Uh, the first couple of times was a big you because I was his artist. He broke it. Actually, the first time was probably like go oh, fold. You see, I had that burgundy bins. Oh, fold when he used to work Sunset selling his mixtapes, hustling. That's how I met the nigga. Actually, at uh, Saddle Ranch, Saddle Back, whatever the fuck you call that on Sunset. Nigga was hustling his mixtape like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's probably the first time I met him. Second time was Big U and Steve Lobel. Um, third time he was in the studio with Game, I don't know what mixtape that was. Maybe Purple Patrol or some shit like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, we never really did no shows. He went on tour with Game. But like spot day shows, we never really did that together. Other than that, I only, I only got a handful of times I was ever in the presence of Nipsey. It was always humble, so whatever stories niggas making up, I mean, if that would have been the case, they'd have talked about that nine months a year ago, my nigga. They wouldn't have just came out. Um, but let's move on to the next shit. I don't expect anything, And I think anybody knows some real shit, whack being whack. 
there's no man that's that's gonna approach me like that and then just go like that. But <clears throat> me and that man ain't never had no uh, confrontational uh, dealings uh, with each other. Period. I think that came from the little dude Jay Stone or something. You know, he's still living. Jay Stone, won't you come have a conversation with me? You see, whack, you bring your little ass on over to have a conversation with me. I play it however you want to play it, nigga, since you started the rumor. I don't even know who you is, nigga. Keep talking, I'm going to pull your motherfucking song down on Born to Rap. I got the power to do that. Gang, be mad at me. We'll argue a little bit, but. You know, at the end of the day, he gonna ride with me. You know, he gonna be mad about it though, cause he put you on there. But you know, you keep on talking, I'm gonna pull your ass off, nigga. Do your little shit, live your little life, whatever you doing, my nigga. I don't know you, you don't know me, nigga. Keep my name out your mouth. Me and you both know you, you ain't trying to do that. And whatever the other that you trying to do, yeah, but nigga, you ain't the only one to do that. I'm going to leave that like that. I'm talking to you, nigga. You personally, because you said something to me personally. Nigga, you quick to want to go talk to the whole... Nah, nigga, you. You're going to go sleep on that Francine's couch. How you know that Francine's daddy's checking on me? No. Ain't a point about me saying fuck 6 9 Because <clears throat> me personally, I ain't got nothing against him. I don't give a fuck about whatever his situation is. The way I see it, personally... Um, you know, in my life, in my world, I don't, I don't allow people into our jungle like that. You know, so um, do I blame him for um, his actions? Partially, mainly because, you know, he did what I told y'all he would do. <clears throat> you know, the streets then got so bad, so motherfucking desperate. A nigga wave a little money in front of a motherfucker and they forget about 20, 30, 40 years of politicking that it took for your neighborhood to be what it is. I mean, you know, I, I honestly feel like the kid knew too much information. If he was a rapper, it should have been studio, video, venue. That's it. All off into the neighborhoods and into them intricate politics and knowing certain things that wasn't never supposed to happen. You know, uh, if you go to a circus and see a clown, before you see that clown, he's somebody, and he put on his suit, bozo nose, big shoes, the hair. He comes out and he entertains. <clears throat> and then after the circus, he takes the clown suit off, right? So when he takes the clown suit off, that individual becomes who he really is. And that's what 6 9 did. I mean, come on, let's be real. He went around with red flags, and niggas with red flags all behind him with rainbow hair. No disrespect to the gay community, but we all know what the rainbow hair represents. Rainbow hair and a, 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 a gang-related re flags don't mix. <clears throat> it's clown shit. And if the motherfuckers around him who was supposed to be quote unquote, the street niggas allowed the clown to be exposed to real shit. Yeah, you know when a motherfucking clown get in trouble, nigga, he gonna do what a clown's supposed to do. He gonna take his fucking suit off and say, hey, this is who I really am. And, and that's just what that is. <clears throat> so I never blame a motherfucker for doing what I know they gonna do. Period. I mean, you know, a civilian to me could never be a snitch. And he was a motherfucking sheep in wolf's clothing. You know, he was playing gangster, but he was a civilian. And that's what that is. What that guy have anything to do with his music? Definitely not. <clears throat> the people that listen to his music don't give a fuck about them street politics. They're going to stream his music. They're going to watch his videos. And I'm going to be real. He's going to be able to go to New York, Chicago, Detroit, and every L.A. and every major city in a big venue and sell a motherfucking concert out. And ain't nobody going to do nothing about it. Straight up. Because the people in the crowd, they don't give a fuck. They not mad at him. And whoever the niggas is in the street, 
they gonna have to deal with the motherfucking Navy SEALs and the motherfucking National Guards and the local police station escorting this boy to the backstage. I mean, personally, I'm not sending my soldiers in this, on the suicide mission for this kid because he ain't did nothing for me to even give a fuck. So everybody talking about what they gonna do and you niggas ain't gonna do shit, my nigga. It's about a bunch of motherfucking real street niggas who didn't snitch and told on every motherfucking body walking around motherfucking neighborhoods a day. Documented shit. So, you know, that's just how I feel about it. <clears throat> More power to him. He got a mother and kids and shit. So, you know, hopefully he's successful at his endeavor so he can take care of his family and move on with his life. Hopefully others learned their lesson. Hopefully you other niggas out here know if you got a nigga that you pretending to be somebody, y'all know how from 6 9 situation what to do, what not to do. I'll leave that like that. I gotta pay seven mil. Motherfucker, do you know how to read? Did you see anywhere where it said whack 100 owe somebody seven million dollars? You motherfuckers be saying some of the dumbest shit in America. Let me see. I be saying this nigga always on my shit. Where you go? This Tony motherfucker. Tony Ray motherfucker. We gonna go live, motherfuckers. You always on my shit every motherfucking day. It What's up with one punch and bird from your hood? <clears throat> um, punch on the street. Bird in Texas, some motherfucking way. Houston. Yo, back there, Tresh. Good, nah, nah. I ain't seen Tresh. We ain't seen each other. Don't forget. We beat niggas up. Oh, yeah, now. Now, if you like to fight. That's my nigga Bodine. I don't know which fucking Bodine he is. I get him mixed up. I think his daddy is the first one. His uncle's the second one. I think he the third Bodine. Uh, Jay Stone slaps him. Jay Stone slapped a man he never seen in his life. I get it. If you like it, I love it. Fuck your head big. Yeah. It's a lot of brains up there. Okay. Loki Smula versus Rack 100. Oh, man, that little dude. See, didn't he run from 6 9 What nigga name is Loki Mula? Nigga, you disrespecting Crippin talking about Loki. They don't say no shit. That's like watering down the Loki. Loki Moolah, nigga. That, what the fuck is that shit? All, that, everything about that nigga name is soft, is disrespectful, nigga. To what? He ain't like I said. No disrespect, bro. Once that that cribbing and bud leave the West Coast, I don't even fuck with it anyway. Like that. It's a lot of homies out there. Y'all do y'all thing, but politics be weird. The hand signs be weird. I keep my shit over here. When I leave over here, I don't want to be a big homie. I don't want to be none of that shit. You know, it's a few niggas I fuck with Thug. <clears throat> I fuck with Thug because a little nigga solid. You know, motherfuckers like that. Other than that, my nigga, I don't even acknowledge the whole lot of shit you niggas is talking about. We don't touch families. Did me and Vic, you get along. Um, you know, we're day. This football season, we might be beefing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a Minnesota fan. I'm a Cowboy fan. You know what I'm saying? Pin on, pin on what's going on if me and Big U was getting along. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't think we beef with baseball. Basketball, one of us give a fuck. Uh, only time we really don't get along is football season, my nigga. You know, he a Viking fan. I'm a Cowboy fan. Them bounty hunters is on your head. Um, if anybody get a bounty hunter looking for them, <clears throat> paperwork from the court, they definitely be on your head. I've never had that situation. Now, I got a lot of homies from niggas that go on bounty hunters. We've always made sure I've kept my head. So that ones you talking about, maybe so. But the ones I fuck with, they fuck with me. Shout out to my nigga Tick. Two T's, the whole TD squad. Nigga ass B, big ass B, low ass B. You know. My nigga Big Pool up in Fossil. Solid hunter, solid rider. He on his way home. You know what I mean? So, you know, the list goes on and on. So, what you say? Lipsy boy knock you out. Wack has never been knocked out ever in his life. I just seen them little stars. I had a lot of fights in prison. <clears throat> you know, being a blood nigga, you know, I had a fight with three, four, and one. So, I just seen them little stars. And I ain't never been on my back. I ain't never been stopped. I ain't never been knocked out. I ain't happy. Right, me on your line. Are you worried about six nine? Why would I be worried about six nine? I be worried about six nine. Come on, miss. I've asked me some weird ass shit. Right, what well, hundred we got? Here, but, uh, yo, listen. Um, we got the blue face single out tour featuring Asian doll went hard. NLD Chopper went hard. Glock 9 went crazy hard. Sada Baby, probably one of my favorite verses. And Kiddo Curry got the shot. Went bananas. <clears throat> Video up on YouTube. Click the link in Blueface bio. Uh, it's, on, it's on all streaming platforms. Uh, Flash Gotti. Shout out to my nigga Trippy Red, Ohio. Another Dom who I fuck with from out of town. I fuck with him and his squad. Because them little niggas be ready to go. I got to, I got to correct myself on that. The little Ohio squad he got with him, little niggas solid. And he fuck with some solid P4 homies too over there. So shout out to my nigga Trippy Ready to feature with uh, my artist Flash Gotti, Paper Chase. That's a <clears throat> song going up on YouTube, streaming going up. He build. Shout out to the Coyotes. You know what I'm saying? My essays from L.A. You know what I'm saying? Hood rats, that shit is up. Fuck the wall, that shit is up. Legally illegal EP coming soon. I don't mean we working. You know what I mean? They got a few big songs and shit. You know, shout out to uh, my nigga Runchy from Great Street Wise too. <clears throat> nephew working. Nephew, I forgot about you. I'm gonna call you, my nigga. We gonna get to that business. Uh, I see my nephew Ocean on there. Most underrated. On bomb ten. Oh shit! It's my nigga Wack, motherfucking FTP. My nigga Wack, fruit town. I see you, boy. I see you. Boy, that nigga keep niggas in this village. Time since I've been knowing this nigga, it's been about 13 years. Let nigga get his get his bag. Shit, I don't know what he be doing, how he be doing, but he stay pulling up fresh to death with a pocket full of money. You know what I'm saying? So shit, keep doing what you're doing, phone. So who else on there? Oh uh, shit, six nine a mark. And his fan. Okay, you got it. Out there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's another little motherfucker. He ought to watch. True Car. Yo, go check that video out. Called Outside. Blueface just remixed that shit. It's going to be on the famous Crib Reloaded. That little nigga, True Car. T R U 
I think it's underscore C A R R. Nigga got some fire. Nephew Ron Sumo. He just did the remix of Pinocchio. You know what I mean? Love. I fuck with Nephew. He be bagging on me every time we on the phone. <clears throat> oh, yeah. YK Osiris. And then got some bangers over there. Molly Maul gave that nigga a heat rock. He, he got some bangers over there. He got an EP coming. Over there on Def Jam. I was in the studio locked in with Nephew, putting the ear to his shit. Shout out to YK Osiris. You know what I mean? He's doing some big things over there. Uh, them niggas was dumb. Was setting up the man that was feeding you. Yep, I don't know nothing about no setups, my nigga. Your grandkids, granddaddy. Trying to spit this verse. Did that chick take gang's records? <clears throat> Definitely did not take games like this. I don't know who the fuck released it. She something something with a label and, and born to rap, but I know what my business and politics is. Um, she definitely does not have no royalties from my album. Not having I have nothing to do with that situation. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she's just like quarantine me fucking people here. Maybe it's getting to her. The crowd ain't gangster, so why are they care? Uh, <clears throat> Yo, shout out to the Stenhouse family. It's buried my G on me, dog, about a month ago. Rest in peace, my nigga, eat all. Big eat all. Eric Stenhouse. Yeah, rest in peace of that. Real power roll. Uh, fuck, Rainy. Yeah. Oh, another little nigga I ran into. I think he's from Main Street, uh, 80 Bands. <clears throat> another little nigga to look out for. You know what? I need to just do like a motherfucking an underground West Coast compilation. Indie Life, you know what I'm saying? Indie Life is coming. It's going to be a big eye for all the independent artists work they sell. I think I might need to. Because there's a lot of little niggas out here moving. A lot of niggas got good music, just staying out of platform. Shout out to my little nigga 80 Bands from Main Street, pulled up on me, jumped out on me. Hyper is a motherfucker. They on some real gang bang shit. But respectful because he wanted to get whack his music and I respect his hand for it. Shout out to my nigga 80 Bands. Uh oh. Uh, let me talk, huh? Hood Rich. Oh, Hood Rich Cash. He got some shit too. He got some shit. And then got some music. I fuck with him. A little uh, Mexican kid out the valley, Seal Martin. Yeah, I fuck with him. We're going to do some business. From, What's the uh, best way to go? So, Engineer 88. The game. All right, I'll block Jay Stone. <clears throat> well, I block people I don't know. If I don't know you, you got negative things to say. It's no sense. You to follow me and me to follow you. For what? I said what you said, I said what I said. Sure, that'll be that. I should remind you that Game was definitely I'm probably coming. I got like thirty unreleased records from game that's on fire. You know what I'm saying? I might go thirty for thirty. I don't know, I gotta talk. I gotta see what I'm gonna do with it. You know what I mean? So it was like you know, it's records that I did business with him on, like 30 of them, they on fire. I got to get with Stack Wall, get with Game, and see what direction we're going with that. But that'll be coming out on E1, <clears throat> E1, 100 ENT, Fifth Amendment, all that type of shit. Yeah. Uh, you come to Compton, we on your ass. Uh, who is this, Mafioso? I don't know where you from, Mafioso. I'm in Compton, rather than say... I be in Bompton. 
I'm in bopping every day, even when I ain't there. If you ever got an issue with WAC 100 and you in Bompton, all you got to do is let a motherfucker know where you at, I guarantee you somebody be your huckleberry. My word to you on that one. Have you talked to Sure? No, I have not talked to Sure. Not about a year yet. About a year. Uh, Jermaine Dupree will put tips on you. Okay. Jermaine Dupree probably want to put tips on your mama. They're probably about the same age. But that's their business. Damn, I miss it. Nigga, I sent you the thing. I sent you the thing. Nigga, you playing. Hold on, let me see where you at. Tony Ray. <clears throat> What's good, OG? What's up, my nigga? I have a good question for you. This What's up? Question. Well, you always on my motherfucking page, so I know you're <laughs> Hey, look. So, you got the DJ Academics, you got the Vlad TV, and you got the Adam 22. Do you think that the industry needs a podcast or somebody that's not y'all consider a culture vulture? You know what I'm saying? I need to do a podcast. But <clears throat> I'm not going to front. Um, I know all three of them. Right? Vlad, I don't fuck with Vlad because he's a rat. <laughs> right? He, uh, the nigga talked all that shit about Rick Ross. They fucked him up. I think a nigga like took Rick Ross to court for like four, five hundred thousand. Uh, Adam Twenty Two still in the gray area with him because like I see the game he played. Like he he take conflict, he take shit from our culture. <clears throat> he pump it. Like I was noticing every time he interviewed a motherfucker, he pumping my pumping my name and calls and shit like that. But you know maybe he will outgrow it. Academics I respect because dude really built his motherfucking platform. Yeah, okay. Built his yeah. platform and all he does is <clears throat> he really reports things that's already been reported, but he reports it on a larger scale. On top of that, you know, he also has a um, was it an everyday struggle or some shit? What is that shit? He yeah, that, that shit on MTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you know, people talk that shit. But I didn't see academics like really moving around. Okay, okay. So I ain't been around him, so I don't know. I didn't see him like moving around. So like, you know, nigga want to get to him, they can get to him. But you know, niggas ain't pressing him like that. Mad at look, if you mad at academics, you got to be mad at World Star and motherfucking all these shade room, all these other motherfuckers that post the shit. Yeah, yeah. Now, I just ask that just because I, I see the response that everybody be having. Like, you know, the celebrities have. They say, like you said, Vlad a snitched and Adam 22, he a culture vulture. You know, you, you hear academics, he go at Nicki Minaj. Really, that, that just be the dialogue behind shit, I guess. But, you know, you got to understand first and foremost, right? <clears throat> you got to give the people what they want. Okay. So, you know, if something going on, academics know he can act a fool on something. He going to do that because you going to do what you just did. Talk about it. Right. Exactly. Right? You know... I can do a podcast that I just don't give a fuck. I'm just fucking. I don't give a fuck. You <laughs> now, I asked you that question for real because I'm, uh, that's what I came to Hollywood for. You know, I'm from North Carolina. We've been, I don't know if you even meant to add me years ago. We had each other on this shit. And that's that's what I came out here to work on. So, what on the podcast? Yeah. I got, I actually got the building and everything, but just quarantine and fucked everything up. So I can't really what do what did? I want to do right you now. But. You, had, you had somebody that was going to set it up for you. Yeah, well, I got to set it for myself. I save my own bread, you know what I'm saying? Get my own office space and just do it from, you know, scratch. North Carolina, I got an artist out of South Carolina. Her name is B. Ray, Bethany Ray. Uh, Bethany Ray. She got a shop down there in South Carolina called Sparkle Boutique. <clears throat> Her manager's dude named Trap for the Stars, which is my financial um, advisor. He does all my financial shit, everything. Uh, but, yeah, nah, she's real dope. Yeah, she real dope. She's going to be on Love and Hip Hop L.A., she gonna be making her way out there. We go. She probably be a Cash Money West artist. Most well, likely. I, I, you know, I kind of uh, not to cut you off. I kind of didn't study from my end just the whole entertainment shit. And 
you know, I just keep following me. When, when, the, when the time comes, I know I can make some noise. So I, I want to get you for an interview. You ain't really done no interviews with me. No, we can do no idea that's for nobody, but you got to be ready. Because yeah. don't ask me no motherfucking questions you don't want to <laughs> answer to. I'm, hey, uh, hey, I'm, hey. It is, see, see, in my world, the truth is never disrespect. It's the truth. Yeah, it's the truth. It's the truth. And I want to say this, too, while I'm up here. I know a lot of people be saying this to you. I, I get the dialogue behind Nipsey, the whole Nipsey thing, but I never felt like you disrespected him directly. I, never, I would never disrespect him for what? He never did. You know, when Nipsey passed, we was on, we talked, and, you know, he'd call me every now and then. we talked talk once or twice about whatever. Him and my big brother was, uh, which is big, he was, was um, definitely close. They was working together, doing things in the community and doing business. So, you know, the truth was never disrespect. I believe if he was here, he would have told you himself. I ain't got to that, that level yet, but I'm working on it. Yeah. I got one more question for you before I get off of here. Yeah. Now, I, I seen you, you said something the other day. You was like, you know, you know of course, you said you talk and shit be like, yo, whack, don't give a fuck about nothing. But, of course, you're still a businessman. So yeah. how are you mixing the two, when, when people come at you in the industry, but you still got to keep it professional, but still let niggas know not to play with you. How are you mixing that? Well, the people, I, you got to understand, the people I do business with is on the 50th floor. <laughs> the bullshit yeah. is not until you come outside the front door. Yeah. You went on the 50th floor, ain't no dice game. It ain't no 40-ounce bottles. It's contracts, it's negotiation, it's terms, it's handshakes, it's plot planning, executing. You know what I mean? It's, it's that type of thing going on. It talk, the reason why I run into a lot of it is because I don't run from it. You know, most people in my position to be then retreated to an office and you'll never see them. You know, you might see whack at the motherfucking Arco gas station. You yeah. Know? <laughs> you know, I see you in the airport, though. I just, you know, I ain't no fan. I ain't going to run up. Oh, what up? Well, I seen you blue facing at the airport. And uh, y'all yeah. was in uh, Detroit. We was in Detroit airport together a few months ago. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Detroit. I got a lot of family out there. A lot of I got family from Inkster to Detroit to motherfucking West Bloomfield. And shit, I got a lot of family out there. You know, Sada Baby, T Grizzly. I fuck with okay. the little dude out there, Snap Dog. Good dude. I fuck with the D. Um, you know, Trip, um, Trip, Trip, Tricky, um, Trick, Trick. We go way, way back. So I got a lot of love for Detroit. A lot of love. Hey, look, I'm gonna get off here, man. I know some other people want to holler too. I'm gonna send you a message though when this shit pop oh. off, man. I promise we are gonna pump. Heads, I fuck man. with you so. You got anything you need some help on the scissors? My nephew, then Wallow, and them got a crazy podcast going on. You know, I can, you know, that's family. So I can yeah. all, like put you with them to get some. Hey, you know, some whatever. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to connect with the West all the way. I've been out here like a year. So whatever I can do. Hey, yeah, but let me know. I'll fuck with you, man. Let's do it. Okay, bet. bet. I appreciate you. Yep. Right. All right. Who else want to tap in? Who's this? God damn, 33 others. I see who the fuck is. Who's all you motherfuckers talking about? Let me see what I'm going down with. Who's Shit, I seen one of the homies from the city. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep it 100 one time and go live with the homie. What's happening, blood? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Funky? It's it's good to see you, man. I just I just wanted to say I love you, blood, while we on live with the rest of these motherfuckers. Hey, listen, I really brought you on live because I know your head bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> what up, nigga? You good? Oh, man, I'm good. Slow motion, man. I see you. I see you. See you doing your thing, my nigga. Proud of you, man. Your thing. I said, oh, shit, that's the homie. Nigga, I got to let the homie tap in with the homie. For I'll sure. be a beard-ass sure. nigga to see a nigga from Pacoima. You know what I'm saying? You feel yeah, me? I'm, I'm glad to see a nigga from Pacoima shine the way you do. Fuck these haters, nigga. But this is the thing. You watch me come up. Absolutely. Nigga from the... from <laughs> Hey, from jumping off the high tower at Fillmore. Yeah, you watch me come up. <laughs> watch me. Yeah. You yeah, knew, watched, you knew little cash. Yeah, I watched the struggle. It's all yeah, good. I'm yeah, yeah. It's so all, it's all it's all good, man. It's yeah, all good. you hey, don't you got a bike? You got a hog, right? 
Now I'm putting one together. What you putting together? Soft tail. I got a I, nigga. What, what you, got? you got, nigga? I got a bunch of motor, everything. Oh well, shit! I'm gonna tap in. I'm gonna bang. I got up. everything on the crate when I rebuilt my soft tail. Right. All my shit I had. Yeah. Yeah, I got all that shit. Oh, but shit, I'm going to tap in with you. I got your number. I'm going to bang your line. Yeah, tap in. Hit me forward and come out where we can get you ready for the summertime. Absol absolutely, blood. But I just wanted to tell you, man, I'm proud of you. I love you, man. Keep doing your thing. No, all love. Valley, 818. You know that. Bro. All uh, right. Go. Oh, all right. So what else going on? What other questions you got? Nigga told me I'm a fake crip. Nigga, I ain't never been a real crip, you stupid motherfucker. I'm going to be a fake crip. Nigga, I'm from Paro. Get it right, dummy. Let's see. Who else is on that creep guy? Wesley Cooper. Daniel Vasquez. I don't know who this is. I just brought it on the live, but shit, we'll see. <clears throat> I don't know who this is. Somebody name. What? What's happening what's with it? What's I was saying the niggas in it. I was saying the niggas in the Instagram comments that talking about they six souls, whatever they saying. I told them the niggas is fake cribs because we was really whooping back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, uh, where you from? Blood. OG Bracken nigga, blood. Where you from, my nigga? Yeah, my nigga. Where you from? That's why, right, Brad. Keep doing your thing, blood. Hey, but look, where you I'm from? A, I, see, I see you at the top soon, my nigga. Yeah, you tell know me what I'm from. saying? My music really Bracken, my nigga. And oh, I'm you do music? My... Where you from? I'm from the Valley, my nigga. But where you from? I'm saying, North you... Hollywood. You from North Hollywood, okay. On blood. For sure. You the parole over there when send I was music out, bro. Fuck with me, my no, nigga. Nah, send, send me something. No, no, yeah, send me something. Yeah, send it to me right now. All right. All right. Yo, uh, no, this nigga crazy. I ain't going live with this nigga. Oh, rich cat, creepy guy. What's the billionaire? Daniel Vasquez. <clears throat> Let me see what Daniel Vasquez is talking about. I know I'm going to get a crazy motherfucker on there talking shit. We're going to see how this go. Man, you a whole bitch. Look at this little bitch. <laughs> I told you I was going to get me a crazy nigga talking shit. Yo, so where he go? The nigga hung up. Man, you can't come on here talking shit. <clears throat> for four seconds and hang up, my nigga. That's not entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. This little nigga right here got bars right here. Hood Rich Cash, he got bars. That's you got some hits over there. Hey, big head unk. What's the deal, unk? Boy, you got to just tell them, boy, you got some music over there. Man, hey, I chopped my shit off, though, unk. You look better than the last time I saw you. Looking like a motherfucking uh, 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 Super Mario Brothers around this motherfucker. With your tight ass track fit on, that hey. was nasty, boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, but I got a new number. I sent it to you, but I don't know if you knew it was look, me. This damn phone uh, is probably over there with the numbers ain't in my phone. What's the eight one eight number? Yeah. I check it. I go. I find you. You sent me a text. You said something, right? I find yeah. it when I text my you. My nigga Pac. My nigga Pac Man said Paisa. They called my you. That's oh, my yeah. brother. These niggas is crazy on this motherfucker, my nigga. This is hey. going, my nigga. I'm telling you. And hey, you know what's crazy too? Uh, These niggas cannot rap. That's the sad part about it. Yes, a lot of niggas can't. But it's a lot of you niggas out there got some good music. Uh, Ocean said he been working with you. Yeah, I've been tapping with him. Yeah, Ocean, Ocean, real creative over there. You real creative. Yeah, real. I, was, I was with him and his nephew, and then I just got a lot of shit going on. My my uh, my identity got stolen and shit, so I had to fix that with the IRS and shit. Oh, okay. They fucked your credit up and shit. Yeah, man. 
We can do everything. <clears throat> Tap in with Trial for the Stars. He get that done for you. That ain't nothing. What you been on though? Everything good? You yeah, got it. everything up. So when we come out this shit, we come out this shit running. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I got somebody doing some research on all your pages and shit. We got a lot of work to do on your pages and getting shit together. Yeah, I'm trying to get that video done for you, cuz. Yeah, but niggas corn, how you gonna get it done? Nigga, that shit nigga like to do an animated video or something. You can't shoot no video shoot right now. No, I already I already got it done. I just need to edit it. You you what you need somebody you need an editor? Nah, we editing it right now. All right, well shit. Well, let me check it out when it's done. Which one? That song I like? Uh I don't know. You like all of them. Huh? Joints, bro. You got like four <laughs> joints over there. <laughs> nah, the cold gang one, though. Right. Yeah. You got four joints, nephew. You ready? We we gonna go with you. You ready? You gonna <clears> get it in. Huh? That's some real shit. You know what I mean? You ready? You definitely got it. I ain't even front, nigga. You got some heat over there. I just, I just gonna, say, I gotta see where I'm gonna put you. That's all. That, that's all. That's coming to. I'm about to get everything. Once my hair grow back, you know the image is everything. Go get the mushroom again. I got you. This shit got me looking ugly. Look at my shit. Oh my god, aunt. I look terrible. <laughs> they say you think Blueface can rap? Yeah, you got some shit. Pull up on your block and I will bleed it. Hey, you know, I think what they don't understand with Blueface. Blueface is uh he in his own lane. And he's very lyrical, and he may say a lot of slick shit. <clears throat> you know, yeah. rap. People understand that rapping is not one dimensional. Like that shit is like, if you're a motherfucker that sound like everybody else, I'm gonna tell you you can't rap. Yeah. If you're a motherfucker like Blueface, like yourself, Kiddo Curry's, the Coyotes, you know, uh, motherfuckers like that. Um, you know, Lil Baby. You know, dub baby. Little baby go little baby go crazy. Yeah, you know, NLE Chopper, you know, uh uh you know, motherfuckers like that that you know, they they in their own lane. When they turn their music on, you know exactly what it is. Somebody they can't say they can't say no one can rap if they making a big impact on the culture. No, nah, you can't exactly game. Game's a motherfucking rap god. Rap is crazy. Yeah, so but they keep him out the top ten for some reason. You know. Um, but you know it's it's the it's to each his own. That's why everybody got their own fans. Yeah. No. So where you at? You in the valley? Man, I'm up here in Lancaster. I came to visit my uncle real quick, but I'm going back to the valley on Tuesday. I gotta hit this studio session. Uh, I might pull up on you then. I'll be up that way tomorrow. I'm gonna DM you my my number. I, my, my old one. I try to I try to fix it, but no, I this know is your old phone. Give me your new shit. All right. All right. All right. Uh, be safe, man. All right. Yo. Game is top. She definitely game is top five, nigga. Believe that. Uh, what was this? I'll never forget. Tupac is the greatest of all. Tupac is definitely one of the greatest rappers of all times. Can't nobody take that from me. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. I want to wish my sister Miss Unique. Miss Henley, a happy birthday. Aries Gang, you know what I'm saying? That's my sister in signage, and that's my sister. So, Miss Unique, Miss Henley, happy birthday. We on quarantine, so you know, I just, I guess I got to get it right when we get off this shit. I'm going to call you when I get off this anyway. Kelly was somewhere in time, niggas. Can you still consider the fake? Salute. Call game, man. I ain't heard them. Uh.
Oh shit. This is one of the G homies right here. <clears throat> my nigga snaps a 54 VNG. This my nigga. Oh, nigga. What's up? <laughs> I don't call too many. I call him that. What up, boy? What's up, my nigga? Motherfucking How you Corey doing, Dale. man? What up, Mr. Dale? <laughs> nigga, I'm good, man. What up, nigga? Oh, what's up, nigga? Oh, nigga, what's up, nigga? Oh, nigga, what's up, nigga? Oh, nigga, what's up, nigga? What the fuck, man? Where you gonna go get just for me and nigga? Dark Brown. The fuck? Hey, check this out, homie. This that, uh, this that triple OG shit. You definitely that, nigga. I was a pup. What was up, 19? <laughs> I was 19, was it? was at 19. <laughs> hey, 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 when you had a nigga uh, doing them crazy ass push ups. Oh, we were doing side to side to the diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. I tried that shit. I tried that shit the other day and damn near broke something. <laughs> Hold on, boy. Oh, hey, man, I just to, wanted to uh, tap uh, in. You talk to the homie? Uh, uh, what's the homie? Crazy man from 20s. No. What's you talk? You ain't talked to him lately. No. Uh. Uh. Oh. You talking about not Reese? You talking about Reese? Yeah. You talking about Reese? Yeah. 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 I talked to Reese. He's still out there, eh? Yep. Driving, but he's he driving right now. I talked to him a couple days ago. You been on the road? Hell no. I ain't going back on the road. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> Fuck that shit. I ain't, I ain't been on. Hey, I ain't been on the road in three years. No shit. Yeah. No shit, motherfucker. Hey, y'all all thought I was crazy when I was over there studying that book. Y'all said that nigga ain't finna do nothing with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what made me get into that shit. Motherfucker, stop. That's the baby get to that snaps. shit. <laughs> hey, I know you said if that crazy motherfucker could get out and do that shit, any of us can, right? Shit. <laughs> snap, you said snap. Real. Hey, nigga, I got to come see you when I come out there. I ain't seen you see you in a while. Man, you as hey, soon as this shit over with, man, you, you better come see me, nigga. Nah, I'm a nigga, you know you're a G homie, nigga. I love you to death, nigga. Nigga, what is this? What's 2020? Man, nigga. Nigga, I was 28. Yeah. We was in a pen 21 years ago. On the real. Now, nigga been, been out for 21 I years. Nigga, I was yeah. 99. Hell yeah. I remember I was mad the motherfucker at you. I wanted you to keep gang banging hard. You was not fucking with me. You said, nigga, you 19. You said, nigga, you 19, 20 years old, motherfucker. Fuck that. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, fuck that blood. Ain't no stopping. I said, stop. Ain't no stopping. But I tell you, non stop till the casket drop. <laughs> nigga, you know, that was, hey, that was my third bid. So, you know, I'm going to try to get into shit at that time. Hey, nigga, I'm running around the yard and everything. <laughs> Crazy as a motherfucker. I love you to death, my nigga. Cause you right, hey, 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 nigga, want to tell you, man. Hey, I'm proud of you, dog. On the real. I pre I mean, you know, you know my struggles, my nigga. Cause shit, you on part the of it. You gave me a lot of guidance, and I told you years ago, my nigga. Like, I look back on, on what you was doing, and I see myself doing the same thing, so I can relate to it. So you gave me a, a mirror before I even had a chance to look look into the motherfucker, man. You know, and you did it, nigga. Yeah. Juvenile Hall, YATS. I don't know how many penitentiaries your motherfucking ass been to. So you did it. Too many. Real talk, my nigga. I love you to death. So we come off this shit, nigga. I'm going to come see you. And I'm, I'm always a phone call away. Man, take care of yourself, man. Take care of the right, kids and the wife. Always, my nigga. Love. All right. All right. My nigga snatched from VNG. I was a pump in the penitentiary. I was in that motherfucker going crazy. Nigga was trying to calm me down. Damn, what was 21 years ago? <clears throat> yeah, I've I, I been doing this shit for a while. That nigga, that nigga, what you mean he's a rat? You stupid motherfucker. Your mom was a rat. Homie ain't no motherfucking rat. The fuck you talking about? 
someone from the mob pressed you at the barbershop about Tupac. Nigga, ain't nobody pressed whack by no motherfucking Tupac. The fuck? Hey, man, let me explain y'all something. Any nigga know me gonna tell you, ain't no pressing me. Pressing me is like stepping on a motherfucking landmine. It's gonna blow. Straight up. It's gonna be some violence, nigga. That's it. Somebody going to jail. Somebody going to the morgue hospital. Somebody going on the run. Ain't no pressing whack. Nigga, I'm not no fucking rapper. The fuck? How long I been doing this shit? Weird ass niggas. I got a nigga, I got a coal over here right that's put niggas to bed <clears throat> and some other shit. So any nigga tell you he press whack, he a motherfucking lie. All that's gonna be is a squabble or bang out and whatever come with that. Nigga crazy. One thing about us Pacoima niggas, we gonna fight. We're going to put the work in. Shout out to my nigga J-Cat, Young Sun Tzu. <clears throat> he probably out there on the road some motherfucker where. Yo. Send me some heat, no cap. GG Yars. That's another little hot motherfucker. Where you go? This another little motherfucker got some heat. Right here. GG Giannis from uh he's Whack, what up? This little car. What's up, little nigga? God damn, nigga, you look like you about home? 15. Hey, nigga, how old are you, nigga? Man, I ain't 15, nigga, growing out here. Nah, nigga, What's you ain't got home? no mustache or nothing, nigga. Hey man, you gotta uh, follow my new Insta, man. What happened to the old one? I don't know. They hated on me. They like reported my shit. Yeah, probably some of your homies. You know how that go. I follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is my new Instagram right here. I'm gonna tap in with you. Uh, you still got the same line? Yeah, my line's still the same. All right, my yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna text in on you. <laughs> All right, for sure. All right. All right. All right. Uh, who's this another groupie? Tay K looking. Oh, I'm sure he didn't do anything. I got his. <clears throat> 